Yo, fight world, what's good? Mm. The vampire stream. The vampire stream. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. I got one for y'all on the vampire stream. Good evening, ladies and ghouls. This is the vampire stream. Angel Santos in the building. Ego insomnia, the vampire stream. Oh, we working people. Yo, I don't know how long, this probably won't be long. I went to the movies, so I'm gonna get some sleep. But we had to talk about this on the Vampire Stream. Shout out to that steakhouse I went to. Look at my food, man. This is that boss life, man. I went to the steakhouse earlier. Now that was a, that was a meal. You see the little scallops. We got the prawns. We got the 35 day old aged ribeye and mac and cheese. We got the broccolini. You know, you got the, the vegetable in there on the vampire stream. Now, I know you guys came to talk boxing with me. Damn, this is a real vampire stream. It's 3 a.m. You out here grinding. Listen, oh my gosh, some people aren't up, so we're not probably gonna have that many hot seats, but they about to get this work. All the people, listen, I'm not always right, but I know when, I'm, I know when I am right. Remember that. Shout out to Miami at 6 a.m. in Miami. All that stuff, just remember who says what. That's all I ask you. Remember what they say then, and we'll remember what they say now. All these people said I was out of my mind regarding Joshua Wilder, and I'm making excuses. Man, I got something to show y'all on the Valley Street. Let's do a quick roll call. Again, I don't know how long this is gonna be, but we're gonna get these points across. Shout out to Arizona, Chandler, Arizona, Atlanta. We working on the vampire, uh, on the vampire stream. Anchorage, Alaska, DC. Y'all up for the vampire stream. I see you. Scrooston, Texas, Memphis, 901, Australia, Washington, Southern Illinois, Eagles Army in the building, West Virginia. I see you, baby. LA 323, London, UK, checking it on the vampire stream. Trinidad, PA in the building, Poughkeepsie, New York, 305, Miami, West London, Weed, California, Vista, Chirac, 312. We got Wise, he on his way to work, UK, South Carolina, Sweden, and the Vampire Stream. All right, let's get into it because we got people on their way to work. We got to get this work out. We got to talk about it. Shout out to Shreveport, Louisiana. What up, New Jersey? Lafayette, LA, or Louisiana, excuse me. Wee bit wee bit wee bit. Smash the like button for the vampire stream, putting in that work. I gotta show y'all, man. I gotta show y'all this. All the people, I, I, I can't wait to hear the excuses from the fans, the men fans, the usual suspects, and talk themselves, talk their way out of this one. We got at least one shooter in the building. We got at least one shooter. Angel, you still with us? <laughs> oh, man. Like I said, the, the thing is, the amount that, that a lot of these fights and these interviews are in the public eye, eventually, if you're not being honest, what's done in the dark comes to light. If you're not being consistent, if you're not being transparent, if you have ulterior motives, those types of things, 
comes to light. And now it's gonna come to light on a vampire stream. Early morning stream on the East Coast. What's up? Ego Army, stand up, man. I'm working for y'all. I'm losing sleep for y'all. Smash the like button. But this goes out, and see, I'm a man determined. This goes out to all the haters, whether they're from the UK, the USA, Mexico, Puerto Rico, wherever they were from. This is proving what I've been telling you guys all along. Now let's get into it. On the vampire stream. So, you guys know my thoughts on Joshua Wilder. Excellent fight. Two great heavyweights of this time. Both guys have power. LSI, let's see it. Now, Eddie Hearn, you know he done fucked up. He just did an interview with Sky Sports, and this it's it's showing you guys everything that I've been saying. Everything I've been saying in this one interview, and he he might not even realize the implications. And the reason I even clicked on it is because I was just on Sky Sports website. Shout out to them, and I seen the headline, and it made me. I did the rock eye, bro. It made me scratch my head. Let's read it. Shout out to Sky Sports. Boxing news. About to go in. Hold up. Y'all have sleep. If y'all want me to go in on this topic, can I get a hell yeah in the comment section? And can we get some more likes? Can I get a hell yeah in the comment section? If y'all want me to go in and show y'all, y'all work for me, I work for y'all. Can I get a hell yeah in the comment section and some more likes? If you if you guys want me to show y'all what I've been talking about, I need to make sure you guys are awake. I'm not the only one losing sleep and half tired. I need to know that y'all with me. Okay, that's what I like to see. And smash the like button for this work, man. So Eddie Hearn is promoting, obviously, Dillian White versus Lucas Brown coming up on HBO and Sky Sports this Saturday. And the title read, Anthony Joshua wants another brutal battle with, who you think he wants the brutal battle with? Dillian White, says Eddie Hearn. So I got to thinking, I'm not, that, that right there, what Eddie Hearn said or what Sky Sports said as the title, that reeled me in. He wants another brutal battle with Dillian White, a guy he already beat. Hmm. But see, I graduated. I took some college. When I see stuff, I don't just move on. I continue to read. So I'm like, okay, that hooked me in. Why is he want, I'm like, why, why would Joshua want a brutal battle <clears throat> with a guy who's not a champion and a guy that he already beat? When the fight everybody wants to see is Joshua Wilder. Let's continue on the vampire stream. It says, Anthony Joshua would welcome another Dillian White, quote, tear up if his British heavyweight rival can defeat Lucas Brown, says promoter Eddie Hearn. So let's read these quotes and then we're going to break them down. La Familia style. So keep in mind, Joshua fought before he was a champion and stopped Dillian White. And I understand Dillian White has won since then and beat Derek Chisora. I thought he lost that fight, but they gave it to him and he's about to fight Lucas Brown, undefeated guy. Okay. Now let's read these quotes. He says, I know that Anthony Joshua will fight Dillian White again. Hearn exclusively told Sky Sports. I think if you asked him and said, tell me one fight in the division you want, he could say Dillian White because he loved it. And he feels as though he wasn't his best because he lost his rag a little bit. And I think he's referring to he was... There's the bad blood and the loss in the amateurs. So he, he fought off emotion. He got stunned in one of those rounds. Let's continue, people. Eddie Hearn continues by saying, but Joshua has improved so much 
and he loves having a tear up and he knows Dillian will give him a tear up. So let me get this straight. Joshua has improved. That's a fact. I think since he became champion, got more confident, more seasoned, beat Klitschko. He loves having a tear up and he knows Dillian White will give him a tear up. What about Deontay Wilder? Wilder is knocking fools out. Three strikes out. So he won't give you a tear up. A guy he got beat, a guy who got beat, excuse me. A guy who got beat, smash the like button. If y'all want this work, smash the like button. I'm so sincere right now. A guy you beat via knockout. A guy you beat via knockout. You want a rematch because he'll give you a tear up. But Deontay Wilder, even if he's losing a fight, even if he's getting the shit outboxed of him, he has come come from behind home run power, right? What about that tear up? And you know it makes more money and it's more meaningful because Wilder has a belt. Listen, we need to get to 75 likes. If y'all want me to waste time, not even waste time, excuse me, I don't like how I said that. If y'all want me to break this down, and not be getting sleep for the vampire stream. Y'all gotta show some fucking love right now. 75 likes so we can continue. Smash the like button. It, stop hating all your life. You know what I'm saying? Smash the like button. That engagement gets us seen. The more we get seen, the more we get it to popping, the more I got boxing. Trust me. Trust me. Smash the like button. But this is not making sense, people. He's improved much, which Joshua has. I agree with that. Joshua loves having a tear up and he knows Dillian White will give him a tear up. What about Wilder? What about Wilder? What about that tear up? <sighs> give me a couple more likes and I'm in my zone. I'm like Kobe. Remember when Kobe hit 81 against the Raptors or somebody? I'm in my zone. We going for 81 right now, man. This is not making sense. We're going to break this. We're going to break down the verbiage, okay? The money train stops with the loss from Wilder. But this is insane. This is insane. And like I said, all the people who are like, oh, fuck new media. Bullshit, man. Oh, all this extra shit, right? You're hearing. And we're not even, I'm not even done with the interview. And you're already hearing what I've been talking about. And I'm not even done. I'm just getting started on the vampire stream. He loves a tear up. If anybody could give, that's like when Golovkin was like, hey, no, Mexican style. If anyone in the division at the time could give you Mexican style, wouldn't it be David Lemieux? You didn't fight him aggressive like you did Willie Monroe because you didn't respect Willie Monroe's power. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of like fake fronts that are put up in boxing. Like, oh, hey, no, it's Mexican style. Please defend. No. If you, your style is to win. And if it's, you, you have, a, Golovkin has a great jab. So if it means sitting behind that motherfucker and just jabbing until he finds an opening, then that's what he's going to do. Stop it. He could have fought Dillian White. Oh, we're going to get to it, people. They might be trying to milk the cow as long as they can. Maybe he knows after Wilder Dubois will give him that work. Listen, then I'm vindicated. Everything I've said, everything I've said to this point seems more accurate than it does false. So I can't wait to hear the excuses. First of all, Wilder doesn't sell. Wilder needs to fight Dillian White, and then he fought someone who was actually ranked higher than Dillian White before the drug test failed. And then after he failed, they took him, and then they they cleared it up, and then they put Dillian White ahead of him. So the winner of Dillian White, Lucas Brown, will now be number one mandatory. But it was it was uh, where Lu Luis Ortiz was rated higher. Yo, we're one like away from me continuing. 
y'all gonna let that slow up the stream smash the like button if i gotta lose sleep then y'all gotta invest some energy too smash the like button if you want to get this work man you can't lie to the fans anymore new media absolutely on the vampire stream no it's 3 30 it's not 2 30 for me it's 3 30 so if i gotta lose sleep to get y'all this work then y'all gotta y'all gotta help the channel in that regard let's keep going listen eddie hearn says anthony joshua he loves the buildup. he wants people to go at him at the pressers aj but they seem to lose their bark a little bit when they're in front of him He's talking about AJ, Anthony Joshua. He loves the buildup. He wants people to go at him at the pressers. AJ, new media. I am the king of Wakanda. Y'all can't tell me shit. He loves the buildup, but Sky Sports, the same broadcast, the same website, exactly the same exact website conducted an interview with AJ. I did a video about it. Other people talked about it where AJ specifically said, I don't want Deontay Wilder to get in the ring unless there's a signed contract because if it ain't signed and we don't have a fight like we did with Klitschko, then it's fake hype. It don't mean nothing. It, so I don't prefer him to get in the ring. So you don't want him to get in the ring without a contract because then it would be fake. But Eddie Hearn, the promoter of AJ, says Anthony Joshua loves the buildup. He wants, he wants people to go at him at the pressers, AJ. Listen, how does this make, how is this not a contradiction? I understand AJ is saying one thing and then Eddie Hearn is the one saying something else. But, okay, Eddie Hearn represents you. So as far as I'm concerned, that's your team. You know what I mean? If, if I send a, if I send someone under boxing ego, right, under my imprint, and I they get credentials under me, and they start acting a fool, flipping tables over, and uh, forcibly grabbing women and stuff, who's gonna who's gonna make who's that gonna make look bad? Me, because that's who I sent to you. You know what I'm saying? So as far as I'm concerned, Hearn and Joshua, they're one and the same. You can't say, oh, but Eddie Hearn did he said that, and AJ said the other. No. They're one and the same because Eddie Hearn is in the ear of AJ. He's managing his career. Listen, he says he loves a good tear up. He says he loves a good tear up. Who better to give you a good tear up than a fellow champion? Someone who's an action style. For all the Wilder's flaws, he puts on action. Action fights. <clears throat> I'm gonna show y'all again in case y'all just joined. Yo, we need to be at 100 likes and like ASAP. If y'all want me to lose sleep to get y'all this work and to, to really give y'all what y'all say y'all want, good reporting, honest reporting, being neutral, being fair, we gotta get to that 100 mark because I'm not losing sleep. I, we could talk about this later. If it ain't all that, smash the like button because I'm doing this for y'all. I'm losing sleep to talk about this bullshit for y'all. He says Anthony Joshua loves the buildup. He wants people to go at him at the pressers. Well, guess what? If you beat Joseph Parker, Wilder wants to get into the ring. So what happened with that? How is this even making sense? How can people, I can't wait. And don't listen, don't wait until this live stream ends and I decide to go to bed on the vampire stream and then start leaving dumbass comments. See, you better be up right now because I, I, I got a hot seat waiting for somebody, waiting. Shout out to Puzzle 247. Just like Puzzle, we 24 seven, we 247, round the clock. He just donated $20, super chat. I appreciate you. He says, good look, G. I'm doing this for y'all. This is real boxing. This is real reporting. I'm just analyzing. And see, this is the worst part about it. 
to the haters, to the detractors. Nobody has a problem with AJ, or at least me. Nobody has an issue with AJ. But some things that are coming out the camp and the team in that circle, it's not really, it's looking shaky, baby. Looking shaky, baby. I just call it how I see. Like Tupac said, I ain't trying to guess up. I just call it how I see. And you know what makes me kind of crazy? Crazy. This this is not adding up. Y'all want to continue? Can we get to 100 likes so I can continue? I can't wait to hear these excuses next. First, Wilder don't sell. He needs a significant name. Then he beats Luis Ortiz. Then, oh, the ref, the doctors gave Wilder too much time and saved him. And what? Then it's like, and, and see, listen. I told y'all, Death Row East, believe in that. I'm coming. Everything I did on the West Coast, we we're going to take this globally. We will take over the UK. You know what I mean? Right now, we're, we're working on this Death Row East project. You know, one nation. But listen, this there's too many contradictions. Here's another thing. I did a video about this, too. I'm giving y'all both sides. Anthony Joshua was sitting on the, the edge of the, um, the, with the, the drape or whatever of the ring. And he did that video, which was funny. And I gave him credit. I thought it was funny where he was mocking Deontay Wilder's accent. He was like, oh, yo, I'm Deontay Wilder, the bronze bomber. He's like, I got that Alabama power, Alabama. I got that Alabama power. And he was doing all this, right? And he was like, yo, Joshua, you going to run? And he was doing all this American, um, having fun with it. American accent or Wilder accent, whatever. So back to the Sky Sports interview about jumping in the ring with no sign fight. It doesn't make sense because it's fake hype. Why did he, why did Joshua do that then? Because obviously if you're making fun of his accent, um, that's bringing light to an unsigned fight. Do you get what I'm saying? If he's like, oh, I'm Deontay, you're pretending to be Deontay Wilder on camera. And then that interview is being leaked and put on on Sky Sports on, on their YouTube, getting views. Everyone sees it, likes it, laughs, does videos about it. You know what I mean? Me, Fight Hype, whoever else do videos. All these people are doing videos about it, Dante, whatever. So how is that not fake hype? There's no sign fight, right? So why'd you do that? You know what I mean? What was the point? What's the point of mentioning someone's name if if you have to have a signed fight to do all this? You know what I mean? So I, I never understood. No, don't jump in the ring. I never understood that. I get you, geezer, but you really, it's petty behavior. You're no Don. Nobody believes you. Who are you? George Rodriguez. I'm the Don. I run boxing. I'm the dawn of this shit. The sooner you realize that, and the sooner you get that hate about your heart, the sooner you'll be better off. I'm the dawn of this boxing shit. Once again, we on a vampire stream. I don't know what time it is for you, but unless you live in Wakanda or somewhere crazy, it's probably early. And you up here hating early. Eat some breakfast first. You didn't even eat breakfast and you came trying to hate. You could have had some flapjacks, some bacon or turkey bacon, right? Some eggs, but you came early to tell me I'm not the done, but you watching me. Nothing but love fella, I'm in the UK, geez, I've had my breakfast. Well, go eat your Thomas English muffin and leave me the fuck alone. It's early for you, and you still hating Rodriguez. You gotta learn to get that hate about your heart. I am the dawn of this shit. Nobody believes you. You need more people. Don't have my shooters remove you. If you wanna, see, just hate in silence, just hate in your brain. But then you open up, the shooters might be on you, so I'm just trying to warn you. I'm the dawn. You'll do fucking none. I run the UK too. Anyway, um, this shit is not making sense. And see, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is the type of behavior. Like, 
He just came for me. I don't even know who he is. He just came for me. Then he just admitted he's from the UK. Why are you mad? Why are you mad, B? You're not disproving anything I'm saying, but you're still mad because you know you can't counter what I'm saying. So you have to resort to this and revert back to, oh, Ego, you're a hater. You're not a Don. You know what I'm saying? It's tell me how I'm wrong. Okay. You don't think I'm a Don, even though I am the Don. I'm the Don of this. So you explain what I said that was wrong, Mr. UK. No hate, just speaking my peace. You can't even spell peace. So you not the Don. So what did I say that you disagree with? Name one thing so we could get you smoked out like Deontay Wilder is doing. We smoking all new media, smoking everybody out. Deontay Wilder is basically new media. I just anointed him. I'm the Don. So I could add pro fighters to new media. You getting smoked out. Just remember that. So go back to eating your tea and salmon croquets and crumpets. But you can't fuck with this movement. You can't fuck with Ego Army. And you damn sure can't fuck with the Dawn. I'm a real life Dawn in this boxing game. Let's continue. We don't got, we, we can't focus too much on the haters. I, ch I chose to be the bad guy. I chose to be the bad guy. All AJ talks about is fighting Dillian White again. Because he seems to really want to do that. Why? Why is AJ only talking about fighting Dillian White again when he already beat him? I can understand Kell Brook and Amir Khan, you know what I mean? Some shit that never happened and you have this long-standing beef. But why is he just talking about fighting Billy and White again? Right? When you already beat him, he's not a champion. What about the champ? Hey, don't talk to me about no Dilly. Talk to me about Danny. Talk about Deontay, the champ of the world. Angel Garcia voice. Why delete his man? I didn't delete him. See, my shooters, he, he, either way, he was talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? He was eating his Thomas English muffin. It's got butter inside. It makes my mouth water, right? Mum, right? He's talking crazy. Shooters ain't playing that. You guys are really petty. Well, whatever. Listen. All AJ talks about is fighting Dillian White again. Why? We've seen that. They can fight in the future, but why? Let's keep going, people. Eddie Hearn says, I would like to, I would like him to fight Wilder still, Hearn added. I think that if we, Joshua, didn't fight Wilder next, listen, the dawn, baby, not going to happen 2018. No, I, I hope it happens in 2018. He just told you, he says, I quote, let me show y'all because I can show y'all better than I can tell you. Eddie Hearn says, I would like Joshua to fight Wilder still, Hearn added. I think that if Joshua didn't fight Deontay Wilder next, so they're already putting it out there that it might not be next. You guys, next extra. You guys see this. And we had our August fight. Then we could do Dillian White against Wilder. I am the Dawn people. This is what I this is what I feared. This is what I've been telling you. He just said he said that to, to me Eddie Hearn said that to save face. I'm gonna read I'm gonna, if listen. If y'all don't get to it, we need 120 likes right now. I'm gonna reread it. 120 likes. I got to know that y'all are in this with me cuz we going to war. It's going to is war. It's, it's not a war between a country the me and Biggie situation is smaller than that. It's not a war against the individual fighter. It's a war of what's right for this sport that we all should love. 120 likes and I reread it, baby. We going to war. Ego's army. Strap your boots up. Lace your boots up. Put your camos and your fatigues on. Get your war paint. We going to war. We going to war with the casuals. That's another thing. 
we going, there will be bodies. There will be blood. And I'm not talking Daniel Day Lewis. There will be blood. Blood will be shed. Not everyone's going to make it out of this, especially if you're talking that dumb shit. We going to war. 21 gun salute, dressed in fatigues, black jeans and boots. We disappeared in the crowd. All you've seen is troops. This little name AJ think he live like me. Talk about he left the hospital to five like me. Y'all live in fantasies, casuals. I reject your deposit. We ride with water. Come on, let's get it. We doing that 21 gun salute. Listen, we more, more lights, more lights. Y'all gotta motivate me. If y'all want this real deal, Holyfield, y'all gotta motivate me, smash the like button, man. I'm not losing sleep just cause I'm doing this for y'all, so let's go, yeah. Yeah, okay, you mean if 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 AJ doesn't fight Deontay Wilder next, huh? You don't think he can fight him now? Why can't he fight him? If he, Luis, Luis King Kong lost to Wilder. Yeah, so if, if if AJ, if he beats Joseph Parker, he unifies. Why why don't you want to see that fight next, huh? That's what you're telling me, huh? Yeah, Eddie Hearn, okay. You in the UK, you selling out 70,000 seats. 70,000 seats, huh? On my dollar. And listen to the, I can't wait till they come up with excuses. Hey, that's $20,000 alpaca. You don't wipe that shit. You blot that shit. Yeah, okay. Eddie Hearn, I know you're a promoter. You got Lucas Brown. You got Dillian White on HBO. Bravo. But you know what the fans want to see. The fans want to see Deontay Wilder. He got past King Kong, right? Yeah, we want to see Deontay Wilder, his one belt. And we want to see him fight against your guy, AJ. Yeah, Anthony Joshua, to protect the sheep, you got to catch the wolf. Eddie Hearn, are you a sheep or are you a wolf, huh? Yeah. Oh, we working, baby. Now you know. <laughs> Eagle Army is on your ass. There's nothing me or you can do about it. Everything starts from now. Yeah, okay. I told you, I'm, I'm ready to go to war. I've been ready. I got my war pain. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they can't. I'm a Don. Y'all got D O N, and my name ain't Don, but I am a Don in this boxing game. Because I know Ego Army gonna ride for the cause. I, 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 I know you wanna make Gerald Big Baby Miller, right? There, there's, there's other fights for AJ. He, 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 can, he can sell 80,000 at Toys R Us, and they closing. You, you wanna make Gerald Big Baby Miller. Yeah, but he goes on me. We gonna start acting like big babies. If you make that fucking fight, like, <laughs> yeah, make I I dare you to make, <laughs> yeah, I dare you to make Joshua versus Big Baby. You gonna see? We we gonna start acting like Big Baby. There's gonna be tantrums. There's gonna be crying. Kids gonna be shitting in their diapers. You 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 don't, you don't want to see that. I'm I'm trying to tell you, Eddie Hearn. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to save you. I think you get the point now, Blake. Let's go, man. Y'all can't fuck with me because I'm a Don. Made man, self-made. I did this from the hustle plus the muscle. Yeah, I did the math. Let's get it, man. It don't matter on the vampire stream. It don't matter what time of day, I'm always ready. I stay ready. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. But we about to go in. You dig? Eddie Hearn, once again, I would like I would like him to fight Deontay Wilder still. That to me is is a filler, right? Shout out to shout out to my man Jonathan Pace. He knew he knew that fat he knew fabulous. He knew that line from from Brooklyn's finest, one of Brooklyn's finest, bad for stock, right? Eddie Hearn says I would like him to fight Wilder still. He just said that because he has to say that's that's an obligation. You know what I mean? Because he knows people are asking. But listen to what he says next. I think that if Joshua, if Joshua didn't fight Wilder next and we had our August fight, then we could do Dillian White against Deontay Wilder. 
once again, why is Dillian White, if he beats Lucas Brown, more deserving to see Wilder than AJ? You know what I'm saying? Why is it Dillian White shield being thrown out so much? Dillian White is not a bad guy. He's entertaining. He, he called Lucas Brown a penis like that. That's that's entertainment. You see, you see this paper is 90 percent bullshit, but it's entertaining. Like when Dillian White, when he when he said he said he looked like a flaccid tattooed penis. That's entertainment. But you won't let me read it. Now you entertain me with your bullshit. Man, this shit is crazy. <laughs> Y'all got to leave me alone. There's nothing you could say. There's nothing that could be said. Admit that the dawn was right. Let me let me let me read the last quote from Eddie Hearn and then you tell me I was wrong. I dare I man, I dare someone to say I was wrong with this situation. Now, I'm not saying listen. Quick disclaimer. <laughs> Well, first of all, Joshua has to get past Joseph Parker. So everybody that I've seen that wants to see Joshua Wilder pass Parker is just under the assumption that all goes well. Nobody is expecting Joshua to fight Wilder if he loses all of his belts and takes his first career loss. So everybody is is that I've seen is is doing this based on the the conversation that Joshua beats Parker. Right, then he should fight Wilder. Please be him. Keep that in mind. So obviously, I mean, I think Joshua wins, but it's, it's a good fight. You know, what I mean, Parker's not a pushover. He's he's basically for me the reason why I'm picking Joshua is because Parker's gonna have to put on a performance he hasn't put on in his last four or five fights to win. Point blank, period. He has some good attributes. Looks pretty tough. Good chin. Um, good power. Um, decent size compared to Joshua six four or so. But based on what I've seen in his last five. Uh, performances i can't put him over a guy with more pro level high level experience better victories and better knockouts recently that's my thing so everybody keep that in mind everybody that's talking about this wilder joshua shit happening next is under the pretense that he gets past parker so we're in the clear this is what eddie hearn also messed up and i told you i told you guys about promoters and trainers doing double talk freddie Rhodes does it abel sanchez sometimes promoters like eddie hearn does it and, and they don't realize you do a lot of interviews and what i'm saying is the more you interview the more you do interviews you got to remember what you're saying especially if it's all look like you're saying different stuff but let's just listen he said i would like aj to fight wilder still i think that if joshua didn't fight wilder neck why wouldn't he that's my question. If he wants it and, and you say he'll knock him out in three rounds, then why? He says, but if he didn't fight Wilder next and we had our August fight, then we could do Dillian against Wilder. Why? Why is Dillian White, who hasn't got past Lucas Brown, or what if he looks, what if he gets past him, but he, it looks like the Robert Helenas? Why do you keep throwing Dillian White on Wilder, who just beat Luis Ortiz, who was the boogeyman? And then this is where Eddie Hearn messed up again. Everybody wants to see AJ versus, they spell versus wrong, but unless that's how you spell it in the UK, everybody wants to see AJ versus Wilder. It's difficult. Why? Why is it difficult? But I would like to see Dillian White get a shot at the world title before he fights AJ. Listen, break down what is being said, people. This is complete, this whole interview was not a good look to me because he just said, everybody wants to see AJ versus Wilder. So he's admitting it. He's admitting that he's aware as a promoter, as a man, as a businessman, as a guy who's in boxing, he's admitting, he just told you, you gotta listen. These are his words, see, don't, Fuck around, oh fucking ego. He, he just won't shut up about. Don't get mad at me. I'm I'm going off of what he said. This is not like I made up some shit he said, but he didn't really say it. He says everybody wants to see AJ versus Wilder. It's difficult. 
but I would like to see Dillian White get a shot at the world title before he fights AJ. Break this down. Dillian White is fighting this Saturday. He hasn't even got past Lucas Brown, right? But hypothetically, let's say he gets past him. You're entertaining AJ versus Dillian White too, but then you just said, I would like to see Dillian White get a shot at a world title before he faces AJ in a rematch. Well, guess what, Point Dexter? If Joshua beats Joseph Parker, then he will have unified and he will have every fucking belt except for Wilder's WBC belt. That's so basically what you're saying is everybody wants to see AJ versus these are not my words. These are not my words. You the jig is up. You guys can't be mad at me for reporting and giving my feelings based on what they are saying, what their side is saying. If they were saying something different, then that's what I'd be reporting. Once again, if Joshua, which is what, the, if, if Joshua beats Parker, that's what everyone's under the impression of because who's talking about Dillian White fighting AJ in a rematch if he loses? You know what I mean? He's probably gonna go, if he loses to Parker, gets knocked out, then he's gonna have to start back from scratch. You know what I mean? Climb back up the ladder, back to a title shot, right? He just told you, <laughs> listen, like Jay-Z said, oh my gosh, man, this is this is insane. And then I guarantee you're still gonna have dumbasses who blame me or say, oh, shut the fuck up. Cause I brought up a good point and they can't defend it. This is, this is insane. Like Jay-Z said, y'all stop me when I stop telling the truth. Nobody wins when the family feud. And guess what, Ego Army, we not feuding. We all on the same page. Death Row East, I told you. All that bullshit that y'all was listening to with old media, we was gonna eradicate that. We was gonna come establish a new government that makes sense, that speaks with logic, that speaks with integrity. Death Row East, believe in that, right? And again, you motherfuckers can dislike the video, you know, shut up, ego. But you're not disproving me. You're not, you're not telling me what I'm saying that is false. I'm gonna show y'all once again that, you know, this is like me being, cause I'm gonna tell you, I'm not, you know I me, mean? I'm not a crybaby. I got thick skin. I've been doing this for a while, but I will say this, being a YouTuber and a YouTube host, you, you get, you're on the, like at this level. I mean, I can't say like when I first started or something, but at this level, you're under scrutiny. You're under the, the, the public eye, you know what I'm saying? Like I go to fights and people are like, oh, ego, I watch your shit, you know what I mean? So I'm held at face value for what I say, just like these promoters and fighters and stuff. See, and this is the thing. You, I dare somebody to try to use my words against me and you're gonna fail. You're not gonna find all these loopholes and inconsistencies and contradictions. Everything I've ever said about uh, Joshua Wilder happening has been the same. Karia says, Ego, answer me a question. Hurry up, because I'm trying to go back to a point and I don't want to lose it. So what am I supposed to answer? I don't know. It looks like you're a girl in your picture. Carla, Carla, what's up? What are you trying to ask? I'm just going to sip my water while I wait for you to respond. The video about Hearn contradicting AJ. So what's your question? Hurry up, Carla, baby. We working. What's up, Carla? So you can't, that's like coming in the movie theater and you missed the first 15 minutes. And you're like, hey man, what's going on? Who Who is this? What's wrong with the Black Panther? What's challenge day? Like you gotta, oh, you respond. Why are we complaining about AJ demanding a contract for Wilder to get in the ring? I'm glad you asked, Carla. You must have come. You must have come to class late. I'm neutral. I love both guys. Listen, you, maybe you just joined the stream. Eddie Hearn just did an interview 
that throws that all out the window. And he's speaking from the perspective of knowing and promoting AJ. Look, I'm not making this up, Sky Sports, bam. Anthony Joshua wants another brutal battle with Dillian White, says Eddie Hearn. So this is the problem. A person that represents Joshua, look, and he's referring to AJ, and he'll let you know that. AJ loves the buildup. He wants people to go at him at the pressers. AJ. That's what Eddie, excuse me, Eddie Hearn is saying about AJ. He loves the buildup. He wants people to go at him at the pressers, AJ. But they seem to lose their bark a little bit when they're in front of him. So if he loves all of that buildup stuff, then why does he have to have a signed contract? You, you know what I mean? If, if he loves when people go at him, according to Eddie Hearn, that's what, you know what I mean, really motivates AJ to get in shape or whatever, or to knock someone out or whatever. If that's what motivates him, then what's wrong with the face-off? Like, like I said, no one's condoning Wilder, like getting in there and just swinging on him or being disrespectful or like kicking and, and setting the UK fight, the flag on fire. So to me, Patrick, please stop because I'm gonna put y'all. I'm gonna start putting y'all because y'all y'all messing up the tempo, and I'm gonna start putting you on the hot seat. He's like he's Patrick talking about ego. I don't think you understand what Hearn is doing, but you're right. AJ need to fight Wilder next. Then what don't I understand? What don't I understand? What are you what are you talking about? You agree with me that that if he gets past Parker, he needs to fight Wilder next. So what don't I understand? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm seconds away from slaughtering you guys because it's late for me. This is the vampire stream. I'm going to just start. Yeah, you know, I'm telling y'all, we're going to have a, a hot seat marathon because y'all keep, oh, you don't. So just make sure you think about your argument. All these comments from Hearn about AJ fighting White and Miller is just him trying to take a power away from Wilder and negotiate. Bro, stop it. See, this is the word. See, fans like you, they, they always say the worst stuff because this is what you guys do. You guys always speak from a perspective that, how do you know? How do you know Eddie Hearns has this mastermind um, sleight of hand? All he's doing is saying words. He's saying words and none of which he has said is what you're saying. You're full of shit, Patrick. Patrick from SpongeBob. So if you keep making shit up, we could just do a hot seat. How do you know? How do you know Eddie Hearn minted this way and all this extra shit? How do you know that? That's my take on it. Anyway, Hearn, all about the money, bro. That's then that's that's your personal opinion. It's like it's like Canelo and this Clint Buterall. I mean, that's all people have. Either he's guilty or he's innocent, but nobody really knows unless you're part of that circle. Nobody really knows what happened. It could be tainted meat. That is plausible, but it could also be he was fucking cheating. You know what I mean? So you're just making shit up. Eddie Hearn, we, how could we go off of stuff that Eddie Hearn is not saying? You're like, oh, you're talking about ego. You don't get it. You just don't understand what's going on. And then you tell me some shit that Eddie Hearn is not saying. That's what you're saying, Patrick. Eddie Hearn didn't say that. I'm going off of what Eddie Hearn is saying. You're like, oh, he's just doing this because Lucas Brown and Dillian White, the tattooed penis fight is happening on HBO. That's not what he's saying. I'm going off of what he's saying. You just making up some shit that you think. See, and that's the thing with new media. Yes, I have my own personal opinions and predictions. On, like I just told you, I think Joshua beats Parker. There's no fact based because it's a fight. Anybody can win. So I understand there's gonna be elements when you're talking boxing of your personal opinion and stuff but you're telling me i don't understand something and then you just gave me your own opinion and it wasn't based on anything that was coming out of eddie hearn's mouth moving on y'all i'm telling y'all y'all gonna start getting this work in the hot seat listen eddie hearn says everybody wants to see aj versus wilder so that's mess up number one you admitted that you know everyone wants to see the fight, yet you're talking about AJ versus Gerald Miller, AJ rematching Dillian White, Wilder fighting Dillian White. It's difficult, but I would like to see Dillian get a shot at the world title before, before he fights AJ. Listen, listen, people. 
I'm not the smartest brother in the world, but there's only so many belts. I know boxing has a lot of belts, but there's only so many belts. At heavyweight, if Joshua gets past Joseph Parker, he will have unified, and he's one fight away. That's the Wilder fight because he just got past his last man in Luis Ortiz. He's one fight away, one click away from being undisputed. So if Eddie Hearn is saying that I want to see a rematch with Dillian White, but I would like to see Dillian White get a shot at the world title before he fights AJ in a rematch, then that can only mean one thing. You want Deontay Wilder to fight Dillian White. And to me, if they fight, you really, this this whole article don't make sense because if they fight, I, I'm picking Wilder to stop Dilly White. I think that's what would happen. I could be wrong, but that's what I think would happen. So what's, what's the point of seeing a, a AJ and Dilly and White rematch if Wilder knocks him out and Joshua already knocked him out? The walls are closing in. Y'all are running out of time. You guys, these excuses are running real thin. This is crazy. So basically, once again, Eddie Hearn keeps throwing in this this like um, this monkey wrench of Dillian White, who hasn't even got past Lucas Brown because the fight's on Saturday, and we don't even. What if he looks terrible, but he manages to skate by with the win? What if he gets knocked out, and you keep throwing this this uh, Dillian White? versus Wilder shit out. And you did that last year. And then Eddie Hearn, man, I just, I, I, I seen too much. Eddie Hearn started trying to play dumb. Like he didn't understand. Oh, I know oh, I never said Wilder had to fight Dillian White. I just said it would it would help raise the stock. No, we're, not, we're done with that. We're done. He just raised the stock beating Bermain Stavern. And it had, Bermain Stavern's fucking dread ponytail was caught in the ropes. That raised his stock. Cause people seen that and they're like, oh shit. You see his, his fucking ponytail was in the room. Like he was, he looked like life. He looked like the Chucky doll. You know, when Chucky was just trying to play, play like he wasn't alive. And he's like, hi, I'm Chucky. Want to play? That's how Stavern was. He was just like folded up. Hi, I'm Bermain. Want to play? Like, so he already raised his stock. We're not playing these games, man. Dillian White. Why? <laughs> And you know what the funny thing is about this? Like I said, Death Row East believe in that. The walls are closing in. To me, if Dillian White gets past Lucas Brown, I'm, I'm just playing matchmaker. You guys, listen. Dillian White, if he, let's say he gets past Lucas Brown, right? And Gerald Big Baby Miller fights Johan Duhapas and gets past him. I would love to see Dillian White versus Gerald Big Baby Miller. And you know what? After that type of schedule, then you can make an argument. Okay, now the winner of Dillian White, Gerald Miller, they've been fighting hard. They've been fighting some, some decent names and stuff. Now they're worthy of a title shot. Let Joshua and Wilder scrap for Undisputed. Now for all them goddamn belts, the winner of Lucas Brown, Dillian White, and the winner of Johan or Duhapas, and um, Miller, that's a better fight. Miller versus White sounds great. Put that on the undercard of Joshua Wilder, and we really talking. We really talking. But guess what Eddie Hearn is trying to do? This is why Deontay Wilder was like, he, he another white man milking the brother. Like, you can get mad at his choice of words or because he brought up the fact that he was white. But this is what he's talking about with the whole milking the cow. Here, Annabelle, here, Annabelle. Because Deontay Wilder don't give a fuck. He, is, he doesn't have a sensor, so he just said it like it is. But this is what he's talking about, milking. Eddie Hearn keeps throwing out this Dillian White versus Deontay Wilder shit, right? Before Joshua Wilder. Eddie Hearn keeps throwing out Joshua versus Gerald Miller. Why? Why all these fights that the, the champion will probably remain the champion? You know what I'm saying? The thing is, Joshua versus um, Wilder... There's strong arguments on both sides about who would win those. Some people will say, oh, Wilder knocks him out, vibranium style. Some people say, oh, Joshua's too technical. You know what I mean? But you would have to, after both recent performances, if Joshua gets past Parker, especially if he looks good doing it, then he's going to be the favorite over Gerald Miller. 
You know what I mean? Wilder coming off the Luis Ortiz is going to be a favorite over Dillian White. So instead of, it's like, <laughs> instead of making the challengers go that extra step to earn it, that's why Eddie Hearn is, that's the milking because he's trying to extend other fights that aren't as meaningful instead of boxing the heavyweight division having an undisputed champion for the first fucking time since the Badman Lennox Lewis. That's what he's talking about with this milking thing. Because why do we need... Gerald Miller, I just came up with a bomb solution. Gerald Miller versus Dillian White if they get past their next opponents. Shout out to Illinois. I see you, baby. That's a great fight. I love it. I love it. And then let the, the big dogs who who been at this level... You know what I'm saying? Because Dillian White already lost to Joshua before he got a title. And as, see, listen, y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm the Don. Y'all can't fuck with me. It's too much. I got too much ammunition. Check this out. Joshua beat Dillian White before he was a champion. And Eddie Hearn admits, this is what I'm telling you. Look. Eddie Hearn says, AJ is improved so much and he loves having a tear up and he knows Dillian will give him a tear up, right? So, again, AJ has improved since the Dillian White fight because he fought Klitschko. I mean, that was, a, that was a ton of experience just in that one fight. So he already knocked out Dillian White before he was a champion. So imagine, why are you trying to see a rematch? Imagine if he fights him now and you just admitted that he's a better fighter now. So why you? Why is the title of this is too much ammunition? Why is the title of this art, article? Anthony Joshua wants another brutal battle with Dillian White. But you just admitted. I'm not saying pause. Y'all don't run this. I run this because I'm the Don. Why is the title Anthony Joshua wants another brutal battle with Dillian White? But you just told everybody that Joshua has improved exponentially since the first Dillian White. The first fight when he wasn't a champion, he knocked out Dillian White, right? And now that he is a champion, plus if he gets past Joseph Parker, then why do we need to see Joshua rematch Dillian White when he knocked him out before his confidence was where it should be after beating Klitschko and unifying with Joseph Parker and beating a mandatory like Carlos Tackham? Man. Not looking shaky. Beyonce Wilder too caught up in his WAGS program. See, now you're just saying stupid shit. See, this is what they do. This is what the fans do. This is what man fans do. You know this doesn't look great. You know what I'm saying? So instead of saying something of merit or something educational, you say some stupid reality TV show bullshit. But at the end of the day, I would rather it be like this because it's very clear what's happening here. So all these wags, oh, Deontay Wilder, he's windmill. And okay, he's on, he's on a reality show. So even more reason to fight him, catch him with his pants down while he's uh, filming a reality show and he's not fully vested in boxing. You know what I mean? Do him like Pacquiao. Pacquiao's half senator, politician, half boxer. So, you know what I mean? He can't be fully committed to boxing if he has all those senatorial duties. So do that with Wilder since you want to leave dope, dumb comments. Make the fight Joshua Wilder. He's filming reality TV shows, so he should be easier to beat. Either way, y'all are getting crucified and you know it. Because I ain't heard one. I heard dumb comments about wags and windmill. I ain't heard one person um, back down what I said with, with something that's making sense. <laughs> Listen, Odell, choose your fate wisely. He says, Odell Loke. He says, you skipping my comment. I'll take your comment, right? In the hot seat. So I'm going to give you the option. I'm going to give you that option. Do you want the hot seat? Do you feel you have a better argument than what I'm saying? Because it has to me. Listen, I'm up late. It's 4, it's 4 a.m. for me. So it has to lead to something. I'm not just going back and forth with you and then it don't lead to nothing. 
So if you want to do a hot seat, if you accept a hot seat, then we'll, we'll see what you're really talking about. But if not, then I'm not answering the, that stupid question. Do you disagree with what I'm saying? Is this a good look for Team Joshua? Is this Does this not contradict what Joshua just said? You know what I mean? I'm not answering those little silly, minuscule questions. And you know what I mean? Oh, hey, he said it was at a presser. Not if he hops in the ring. If you want to play semantics, play these little games, play them in the hot seat. But I'm just telling you, you won't win it. I promise you. If I'm up at 408 for boxing, you ain't winning this hot seat. I work too damn hard. So I noticed you haven't said anything. Yep, 409 for me too. Let's go. Don't block. No, no. That's not how the hot seat works. First of all, I don't block anyone. I got shooters for that. I'm a made man. I'm the Don, so I don't have to. But if you, if you lose, you're getting blocked. That's why I gave you the option. That's the rules. We don't bend the rules for some random guy we don't know. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you the choice. And you should, you have to make it quick, because otherwise it's going to be an automatic hot seat. And then we're just going to get it all the way funky. So if you think you have a better argument than everything I presented for the last 60 minutes on here. Someone said, Ego, I would take his hot seat if he's not man enough. <laughs> wow, see, here's what they think about you. Patrick, you about to get burned anyway, Patrick, because I, I already dealt with you. <laughs> Damn, you got someone on the same side of the fence as you, and he's calling you not man enough. Cold game. Cold game. Why are you taking forever, though? Okay, what you got? Let's go. Okay, so your whole argument to counter what I said is the fact that Eddie Hearn said the word presser instead of getting in the ring without a sign of fight. So you're saying, oh, so if it's a press conference, then that means, and then that means it's a signed fight, right? That's, I mean, that's a horrible horrible standpoint that I don't even know why you would even take this hot seat. You could have just been enjoying it, but now we got to cut you. Now we got to get you. Like, see, I'm going to read the quote again so you guys know. And, and, like, again, people like you, you know what I'm saying is true, so you should have just bit the bullet and just dealt with that, but you know overall what I'm saying, but you want to get hung up on one word. Listen. You know he done fucked up. <laughs> the first thing he said was he loves the buildup. That's what he was. That's what he said before he even mentioned a press conference and signed fight. But once again, you want to be technical, and you know you done fucked up. He says AJ loves the buildup. Period. Period. It didn't say AJ loves the buildup on signed fights or. AJ loves the build up if it's a press conference and it's a done deal. It says he loves, he being AJ, he loves the build up. Then he went on and said he wants people to go at him at the pressers, AJ. So, horrible standpoint. And you try to, you try to catch me on the technicality because he used the word presser and a presser means it's a signed fight. Okay. Now you're playing dumb. I just I just exposed you. You said a presser means they fighting, right? Sure, but he, the very first thing he said before he even said anything about a presser is he loves the buildup, period. The presser wasn't even in that sentence. So yes, wouldn't jumping in the ring and having a face off constitute as a fight buildup? Now I answer your question, you answer mine. You playing dumb. The very first thing he said was he loves the buildup. It didn't, period, look, period. You know, you know, like when girls had that time in a month, period. That's all it says. It didn't say he loves the buildup only on signed fights. It's a, it's a press conference buildup. So you're playing games. You're playing games and you're getting bodied. You ugly brute. Okay. Hey, this is that dude I burned. This is weebity, weebity, weebity. I can tell. Because he got WWE in his shit. 
Where's the lope do that? <laughs> this man got an L, that's why he's not answering my question. So soddy. So soddy. He says AJ loves the buildup. He loves the buildup. So he didn't define is that that is an ambiguous statement. And then there's a period since you want to be grammatically correct and some fucking English professor. So to me, I think most people in this chat would constitute and deem a buildup as being more than just a presser. A buildup could be uh, Canelo failing a drug test with Clint Buterall, which caused drama. A buildup could be like Ego Weight Watcher seeing that Canelo looks sliced up or Golovkin looks fat or buff. You know what I mean? Those are things that build up a fight. Build up could be HBO 24 seven. You know, you done fucked up. He says, stop it, bro. Let's vote. He's playing games. He's playing dumb. <laughs> Does everyone understand the point I made versus the point he's saying? He's, he's saying a build up has to be a press conference and a signed fight. Really? So HBO 24 seven is not a build up. You know what I mean? There's plenty of things that build up, build up a fight. Danny Jacobs having an a altercation with Charlo. That helps build up if they do fight. What are you talking about? Get this bum out of here. A couple more L's and he's done for. Thank you for playing. Wilder been building off his name for six months. Now nah, I know you done fucked up because you, that has nothing to do with the whole argument. Now you're just bringing up, oh, but Wilder likes Skittles. Taste the rain. That has nothing to do with it. Shooters, y'all know what to do. It, it, Wilder's been using his name for six months. What does that got to do with anything? We weren't arguing. Cool, Wilder's using his name. I agree with you. What does that got to do with it? Got him. Get this man out of here. I told y'all, man. And see, listen, This is, I'm, I'm trying to set the precedence. This is going to happen each and every time. When you will think with this, instead of thinking with this, and you go against Ego's army in these comment sections, you go against me, the Don, in the hot seat, it's gonna happen every time because you're not thinking right. You're not thinking with like sound logic. You Oh, he said it was a press conference. AJ loves the build up at press conference. So basically, you're reading too much into it. You're trying to, so he has to, he has to be specific. He has to be like, oh, he loves the press conference and face up build ups and like, come on, you're playing games. You're playing games. And, and see, don't let, this is what they try to do, people. Smash the like button. We should really be over 200 likes. Smash the like button for the vampire stream. I'm showing, I'm showing y'all. And there's there's no one to blame. Don't get mad. Oh, Ego made this video. You. Don't get mad at me. I'm only being real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't be mad at me. This is what I've been telling you guys. And see, this is the one thing that I hate about the hot seat is they always try to deflect and bring up Wilder's been using AJ's name. Who cares? So AJ used Wilder's name when he when he made fun of his accent. Why'd he do that if he doesn't like fake hype? They know the walls are closing in, all the fans. The fans are fearful. The fans are scared. Hey, Patrick. I'm gonna body you in a hot seat. Say, say, like Piggy said, say another motherfucking word and this shit is over. Patrick, I know you're from the UK, which, cause your last name, that sound like a UK name. Kilbane? Are you from the UK? Just be real, keep it a buck. Patrick Kilbane, are you from the UK? Are you from the, come on, just be real. Are you from the UK? You're Irish, okay. You're pretty close to the UK, right? Actually, I think Northern Ireland is still part of the UK. And then the other parts like Crumlin isn't. Bro, I'm gonna body you in the hot seat. You should just sit back and enjoy it. Just press your dislike and then keep it pushing. But if you open your mouth against the dawn, then we gonna do a hot seat. Because I know everything you've been saying is, is trash. Bottom line is this. And this this will save you guys a whole lot of time because this is what the hot seat is going to escalate to. Does Joshua and team, are they contradicting themselves? Joshua and team, does it look like they want to fight Deontay Wilder next? That's all I'm going to ask you. And if you can't say yes to those questions, 
then just stop. Just stop. Does it look like Joshua and his team and or his team, whoever you want to place the blame on, does it look like they want to fight Deontay Wilder next? Do you think the fight will happen next? These are the questions you got to ask. Come on, Patrick. Yes, but so has Wilder. What does that even mean? See, now this is what they start doing. Start speaking all cryptic and yes, but so has Wilder. I said, does it look like Team Joshua wants to fight Wilder next? And he says, yes, but so has Wilder. What does that even mean? <laughs> Patrick, I'm, I, I swear, I'm like, I don't even have to listen. Listen, this is what I do for boxing people. I don't even smoke and it's 420 AM for me. You see that ego, E-G-O, get it right, man. It's 420, I don't have time for games. I'm doing this for boxing. So you can just sit there in your wrongness and just leave me alone, or you can get smashed in this hot seat, pause. But you won't beat me, I promise, because you know, you know what's up. I'm not here to play games. Like I said, I'm not losing sleep for the fuck of it. This shit is 4.20 a.m. on the Vampire stream. You don't wanna, you don't wanna see me like this. I'm, this is where Bruce Banner turns into the Hulk or Ego Valley. I promise you, you won't win. Cause I see what you're putting. I mean, they have contradicted themselves, you're right, but so has Wilder before. Bro, who cares? We're talking about the current situation. And see, see, I'm telling you, it's, it's about to turn Ego Valley-ish. Cause instead of being wrong, which you clearly are, you keep trying to throw other notice like here's an example he's like oh yeah they are contradicting themselves eddie hearn and aj but wilder has been wrong too what you didn't even use an example what what is wilder contradicting do you do you know what i'm saying like they just they just throw a blanket but wilder cheated on his girl he's been wrong too he's committed a sin what we're talking about this specific situation from current interviews conducted by AJ and, and Eddie Hearn. And you're really trying to play games with me. I'm telling you, it's too early in the morning and I sacrifice too much and I won't lose to you. I'm not losing to Patrick from Ireland with these weak ass points that you keep. So I'm just saying, just sit back, chill. I'm not even going to be streaming that much longer because I'm going to go to bed. So I'm just telling you, you might as well just enjoy the rest of the stream, chill out. You know what I mean? I don't know what time it is for you, but your points, they're not even making sense. You just admitted he contradicted himself. But Wilder did it too. Like, it, okay, let's say, let's say um, <clears throat> somebody like OJ, let's say the whole stream is about did OJ murder Nicole and Ron Goldman? And then you're like, oh, Charles Manson, he murdered people, Ray Carruth. Like, what are you talking about? Like we're talking about did OJ murder Ron Goldman and Nicole Simpson, you bringing up other murderers. Like, stop it. Wilder contradicts himself too. All I'm saying is call, okay, now you're playing games. I, I told you like, bro, I was really trying to spare you, but I don't have time for the bullshit. You said, all I'm saying is call Wilder out when he does it too simple. Now you're about to get this L. Fuck the bullshit. Fuck all that extra shit you talking. So what did Wilder contradict heavily like this that I should be calling out? And don't bring up some shit from 1988 or some shit. Yeah, he said it, he told his mom he's going to the park and he he really didn't. He, he went to the bowling alley. Like, what is it? What has Wilder said? Not because you want to play games. Okay, well, I'm gonna play. I told you I'm on my Scarface. Huh? Okay, I play with you, man. Now, now you, you, now you're gonna get the work. So, what am I supposed to be calling Wilder out on? That he, you know what I'm saying? Since you wanted to argue back and forth and hold up the whole stream, what am I calling Wilder out? Use the specific. You said Wilder does it to you. I'm just saying, be fair. Call them both out. What, okay, so what am I supposed to call Wilder out? Name the contradictions. Has he said, "Oh, I want to fight AJ," and he said, "Oh, fuck that. I want to fight Gerald Miller next." So, what am I calling him out? It's not about money, it's about legacy. Then a week later, it's 50% or no fight. Bro, really? Is this who y'all really sent for me? That, see, y'all come with the weakest fucking points. Okay, first of all, you don't, you're not even citing sources, so I don't even know 
all of what you're saying. But okay, I heard about the 50-50 or whatever. That's what he thinks. That's what he that's what he wants. That's what he said. But that's not a pain state. He does he seem like he wants to fight AJ since you want to play games. Does he seem like he wants to fight AJ? You know what I'm saying? And it could be about legacy. And, it, and of course, these fighters are going to get paid. They're going to need to get paid. You're asking me to call out Wilder. Be like, oh, he said it was about legacy, but he wants to make some money, too. You sound foolish. You sound real dumb. Because at the end of the day, anyone could say it's about legacy. But he's not trying to take blunt force trauma by a big puncher for free. So this is what you want me to call Wilder out on? Oh, he said, he said it was about his legacy, but then he wouldn't take 5%. He wouldn't take 5% of the pot and give AJ 95. Really? Really? Bro, really? Is that is that what we're is that what we're finding out? Is that what we're trying to? <laughs> no, he said 50. He said 50% or no fight. Yeah, but his manager came back and said, no, it's not about a percentage, it's about getting the right deal. And that's the person who's managing that he has seen fit for managing his career. You know what I'm saying? So obviously he's gonna, at the end of the day, he's gonna entrust his team. He says, they, he says I can't, Shelly Finkel, or whatever his name is, Finkel, says, I can't pay my bills with the percent. So it's not about the 50-50. So he, he's already come out and corrected that. You know what I'm saying? He said it's not about 50-50 per se. He, it's about what is a fair split. I'm saying he contradicted himself. I don't care about what he wants in a split. Bro, you're, you're just talking all over the place. Really? Like, you're bringing up, like, I'm, I'm bringing up major... Okay, Eddie Hearn, since, since we're, we're calling out contradictions, let me just freestyle some. Eddie Hearn says there's an 80% chance that the fight happens. In this interview, he's saying that Wilder should fight Dillian White in August. And Dillian White should get a title shot. And the only other person with the title is, is Wilder, other than AJ. He said before he rematched AJ, I want to see him get a title shot. So what about that contradiction? What about um, Eddie Hearn saying that Joshua loves the buildup and he wants people to get at him, impressors and whatnot, and then Joshua says, hey, don't jump in the ring. I don't like that, right? What about that contradiction? What about saying I don't like fake, I don't like fake hype if the fight's not signed, but then he did a whole video talking about Wilder's, act, you know what I mean, talking in, in Wilder accent. Really, do you, do you really want to do it with me? Eddie Hearn does contradict himself. I don't deny that ego. Boom, get this man out of the kingdom because you're just talking in circles. You're, you're just, you, you're, you're, you're playing both sides of the fence. You're acting as if I'm saying something that's wrong, but you're saying you realize it. And then you're bringing up some piddly things that has been like, it's not like I'm thinking, I'm, I just named several several different contradictions several and you bring up oh Wilder said it's about legacy but then now he's saying 50 50. Wilder is a fighter so he, of course he's gonna say it's about legacy but the guys are gonna get paid like you know what I'm saying he's gonna get paid for the fight and he's saying what he feels he's worth but his manager already came out and said it's not about the percentage per se it's about what's a fair deal so that's really null and void because the, the Finkel interview where he said that about the percentage split happened after Wilder said what his what he said. And ultimately, Finkel and the team is the one that facilitates the deal, not Wilder. You know what I mean? Fighters can say whatever they want, but behind the scenes, the, as far as money and stuff like that, their people probably handle that, that aspect and, and argue for your best deal. You know what I'm saying? This shit is too easy, man. Bye bye, Patrick. And you, you guys see they all this back and forth, just to say I agree with you, ego. Eddie Hearn is contradicting. Team Joshua is contradicting. Then why, if you agree with me, then what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, I agree with what you're saying. It is a contradiction, but. 
Ask Yara who's there says five dollars super chat. And he caught some bodies. He said I caught two bodies this morning. Anybody else want some? LOL. Ask Yara who's there. Don't be playing, man. Shout out to my man. But this is what I'm saying. They try to distract from the and distract from the message. Smash the like button. I'm about to get out of here. I'll be back later with more work for y'all. But this is it's not a good look for Team Joshua, for Eddie Hearn. These are like these are like huge, huge contradictions, like in a short span of time. You know what I'm saying? Now Eddie Hearn, <laughs> Eddie Hearn said 80% chance. Listen, okay. Y'all wanna fuck with me? Okay. Okay, I'll play with you. Eddie Hearn says 80% that the fight happens, Wilder Joshua happens after Parker, right? Now the new interview that just dropped, now he's saying this. I would like him to fight Wilder still. I think if Joshua didn't fight Wilder next, and we had our August fight, then we could do Dillian White against Wilder. What? Where is it? Well, how did Dillian White come back? Everybody wants to see AJ versus Wilder. It's difficult. But I would like to see Dillian White get a title shot at the world title before he fights AJ. Now, again, we all know the only other person, if Joshua gets past Parker with the title, is is Deontay Wilder. So once again, he's setting up Gerald Miller versus that's see, you, you guys gotta look at it like this too. You guys gotta look at it like this. How come you get such direct answers when it comes to AJ fighting anyone else not named Wilder? If if it's if like just do the do the homework. Don't take my word for it. Hey, we should be at 200 likes. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice and shit. Smash the like button, people. We should be at 200. But listen, if when when Eddie Hearn and Team Joshua will say is referring to fighting anyone else not named Wilder, I feel like the interviews are a lot more to the point. For example, you hear direct ass statements like, oh, AJ might fight uh, Gerald Big Baby Miller. I want to bring him to America. I want him to fight the Barclays, get him some experience in America. Boom, straight to the point. You know the venue, you know around what month he's talking about. He's like, oh, if Tyson Fury doesn't want any tune-ups and he wants to fight us in the summer straight away, we can make it happen. Tell Frank Warren to call me, boom. You know what I mean? Oh, Alexander Povetkin, yeah, if he beats David Price, then boom, that's a certain option. You know what I'm saying? Every time Wilder's mentioned, it's all like, oh, it's difficult. I don't know. He's being ridiculous. He wants more money. Like, come on, man. I'm not playing these games. Sheed Smith, $2 Super Chat. Ego, get some sleep, bro. LOL, much respect. Hey, don't do him like that. Someone says Sheed, $2 ain't buying shit. Don't do that. He, 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 what did you What did you donate in the super chat? Don't you know what I mean? Don't try to clown someone because they only donated uh, two dollars, but you ain't donated shit. I've seen your name. You ain't donated shit, so don't try to play him. Oh, that's not buying shit. It all adds up. It all supports the movement. Don't do that, especially when you ain't donated shit because I seen your username. Anyway, don't. Yeah, they're all trying to support and help Ego Army. It don't matter if it's ninety nine cents a penny, like. Don't do them like that. But anyway, it's just like always a direct answer. Always a direct answer. Always a direct answer when it's anybody else other than Wilder. But when the name of Wilder and Joshua, oh, I want to see him fight Wilder, but it's difficult. You know what I mean? But then Gerald Miller versus Joshua, who's less deserving. And, and Gerald Miller is somebody that I'm cool with. And I'm just saying it from a realistic boxing fan perspective. I mean, if, if that's what they make, then it is what it is, but they're gonna be mad at Joshua. The fans are gonna be mad at Joshua for that. If he gets past Parker and they make that, so it is what it is, but and this is crazy. Look, he's telling you, everybody wants to see AJ versus Wilder. It's difficult. 
But I would like to see Dillian get a title shot. I would like to see him fight Wilder still. Talking about AJ, I think that if Joshua didn't fight Wilder next and we had an August fight, then we could do Dillian White versus Wilder. Once again, Dillian White keeps coming. So listen, y'all gotta y'all gotta peep the y'all gotta peep the um, the verbiage. I would like Joshua to fight Wilder still. I think if Joshua didn't fight, why are you talking about didn't? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this shit is crazy. Why are you talking about didn't? If he didn't fight Wilder next, why? Why are we talking about didn't? If, if you haven't negotiated with him really and sat down, this shit is all over the place. Oh, if he didn't fight him, and then he says, look, everybody wants to see AJ versus Wilder. It's difficult. How is it difficult if you're not even really in deep negotiation with him? If you haven't really negotiated on the flip side of that, how is AJ going to say, oh, I don't want him in the ring, hopping in the ring, unless he has a signed contract? How is he supposed to get a signed contract if it's difficult? This shit is all over the place, people. This is not a good look for, because the team, this is like Pacquiao and Freddie Roach and uh, Michael Conx and Bob Arum. That's the same thing they be doing where they all say different shit. Freddie Roach would be like, hey, hell yeah, I think, I think, I think my guy, uh, Pacquiao, he'll fight Terrence Crawford in uh, 2034. And then Pacquiao was like, um, do, 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 um, I do believe um, I'll, I'll fight uh, Terrence Crawford next. And then Bob Arrow was like, no, you got to fight Mike Alvarado. And Michael Conn was like, hey, we ain't never fighting Crawford. It's the same shit. This shit is all over the place. You know what I'm saying? One guy saying Pacquiao will fight him. Freddie Rose, uh -huh. I don't want to fight that black guy. Um, Terrence Crawford, bad style for him. And Pacquiao, um, I do want to fight. Um, I'm gonna fight uh, Terrence Crawford, uh, bud. I smoke a little bud with bud. Like, and then Michael Collins was like, "Fuck that." You know what I'm saying? And Bob Arum was like, "Make the fight. Make some money. Make the fight." Yeah, you know, all over the fucking place, man. Leave me the fuck alone. I run boxing. I'm the Don. Leave me alone. That Listen, this is exactly how... I'm talking about a team. There has to be unity behind a team. Pacquiao's team, all oh, nefarious for this. Notorious for doing this. Bob Arum, oh yeah. Uh, Mayweather is a barring fighter. But I do want Crawford. Tyrants Crawford and Mandy Pat. And then Michael Collins would be like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I didn't say no Phil floor in the field. I didn't say no Pacquiao Crawford. Fuck are you talking about? And Freddie Roach would just be like, yeah, I bet my house that then we won't fight the Pacquiao versus uh, Terrence Crawford. Nigga. Shut up, man. Everybody. Everybody leave me alone. Unsubscribe. I don't even want subscribers anymore. Cause boxing's full of shit. Real shit. Unsubscribe. I don't give a fuck anymore. Like if, if this is what it, if this is what the game is about. A bunch of people just that. Um, I do believe I'm um, not uh, uh, Terrence Crawford. And then he, he, you fight Mike Alvarado next. Like, um, I want to fight uh, Lucas Matisse in uh, Malaysia. Okay, cool. Fight him. That's that's a solid fight. Um, I'm going to be fighting uh, Mike Alvarado. This is what boxing, <laughs> man. I don't know if it's just because it's late for me, but I, I work too hard for this game, man. This shit is frustrating. You guys still got people. You see, there's like. There's like oblivious, obvious, like fucking um, contradictions. And you still see people making fun. Look, I did a video about it. Y'all didn't know. I did a video. Caught. Eddie Hearn contradicts Anthony Joshua's no hype, wilder, blah, blah, blah. See? Look, 55 likes, 11 dislikes. What did they dislike? I just showed, look, I show you everything I'm saying. Look. I show everything that I'm saying. The direct quotes. What you know what I'm saying? What is there to dislike? I'm showing you exactly so you can read it. In the WBC because Dillian And they still did. You know what I mean? This is what boxing has come to. The ex see, look, real recognize real. The exposal is here. Great journalistic work, ego. And see, I'm not even like trying to take credit, like, oh yeah, I exposed him. I wish I didn't have to expose some shit. Look, once again, I get blamed. Ego, guess you get some headache over AJ, LOL. 
more bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm showing you what he's saying, but somehow it, it becomes, I'm sorry, I got a headache and some stupid shit. Ego, you're either dumb as fuck or you have an agenda. Obviously, Hearn wants to get White a title shot. He promotes him. I'm dumb, though. And, and, and see, this I, I didn't even read the comments because I've been on the live stream. But the great thing is this. All these dudes, the video I just posted right now. Why are you not in my stream right now when we got a hot seat calling me dumb? And you, look, this is what they do. This pussy shit that happens in boxing. You wrote this long ass Stephen King novel 46 minutes ago. I've been streaming for 90 minutes. His name is, so I know you're up. You got a picture of AJ as your fucking cover. And your name is LJ Craver. And then you're saying, talking some ego, you're dumb as fuck. Or you have an agenda. I have an agenda, but you got AJ as your picture. And you was up at 46 minutes ago when I dropped this video. You calling me dumb. But you're not in here. And look, two people, oh yeah, I like this. But I'm, t I'm showing you what he said, but I'm dumb with an agenda. Obviously, Hearn wants to get Dillian White a title shot. He promotes him too. It's a win-win for Matchroom. White is number one in WBC. So nobody's checking for that fight. <laughs> nobody's checking over, if, if, if you had, if you had Dillian White versus Deontay Wilder, not a horrible fight if he gets past <clears throat> Lucas Brown. Not a horrible fight. I'm, see, I'm straight up. Unlike a lot of you motherfuckers, I'm straight up. It's not a horrible fight, but it's not better than Joshua versus Wilder. It doesn't do more money. It is not more meaningful. So how am I dumb? So a mandatory, if he gets past Lucas Brown, what if, he, what if, he, what if Lucas Brown knocks him out? What are y'all gonna say then? You see, this is what I'm saying. Y'all just want to co-sign some shit. Oh, Eddie Hearn, he, because y'all take, oh my gosh, y'all better hope, y'all better hope and pray to whoever you believe in, Jesus, Buddha, Allah, right? Whoever you pray to, if you're atheist, you better pray that Dillian White wins versus Lucas Brown, because then it's going to make even less sense. If, if Eddie Hearn's trying to throw Dillian White on on Lucas Brown and Lucas Brown and I mean and White can't even get past Lucas Brown it's gonna make comments like that look horrible y'all better hope Dillian White win this one I'm, I'm gonna be on HBO watching too but anyway see you know what I mean this dude's all my comment paragraph long thing but you see that I'm live I know you see it. you're on YouTube you're on YouTube, but you don't come here for the hot seat. That's how you know when it's some some fuck shit. Straight up. Ego, you're dumb as fuck. Okay, I'm dumb as fuck, but you ain't coming here. But you, you, you know what I'm saying? You just leaving the comment knowing I'm not going to respond back to that because I don't have time. Because we getting money out here. You know what I'm saying? We doing live streams and stuff. It's crazy, man. Look. Hey, ain't this just that little bitch that was in here, Carla? Oh, hell no. Nah. Look at her. Anyone watching this BS, please go and watch the full interview. Hey, Carla, you, you two-faced. She was like, don't block me, man. Hey, Carla. Oh, hell no. Nah. Carla was the one, she was like, oh, I'm just, I'm a fan of both. Now she talking shit on here. Hey, this, this boxing game is crazy, man. Shout out to my man, Ask Yara Husser. $5 super chat. I wonder, does Parker duck Wilder if he beats AJ? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. But Carla, yeah, she, she was like, don't block me. I'm a fan of both. And now all of a sudden she's like, anyone watching this fucking bullshit video? Okay. Wait till I see you, Carla. I'm about to put your ass in the hot seat. Anybody can get it. Men, women, dogs. Women can. <laughs> Me and Ken, oh my gosh, Carla, you better never come to my live stream. What's your name? Carla Harvey. Harvey Dent, you gonna beat the face. I'm gonna turn you to Harley. Oh my, I can't wait. Don't ever come to my, ever. Don't ever, 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 ever. Well, I never, I never met no dude named Carla, but 
Okay. Whoever, men, Caitlyn, it, it don't matter. Carla, if you ever show face on my live stream, you getting flamed up proper. You know what I'm saying? And if you're from the UK, you chats bollocks. It, it's on, Carla. If I ever see your name pop up, I will flame you in this hot seat. You probably in here right now and you just don't want to say anything. Look, it, it, she, see, look, this is what I'm talking about. Anyone watching this BS, please go watch the full interviews. What the fuck? What is this bitch talking about? This is the full interview. I linked to it. This is, I didn't make, I didn't cut the interview short. <laughs> yeah, watch the full interview. I'm showing you. I linked to the interview. Look. Oh my gosh. This shit is crazy. Look. Anyone watching this BS, go watch the full interview. Anthony said he's more than happy for Wilder to get in the ring, but he's demanding a contract. Look at it factually. Screw who you support or your biased views. Okay. But the thing is, Carla was in here. I seen her. Now she's ducking the hot seat. She was in here. So if you had all that stuff to say, fuck this video and your biased views, your little you fucking chat bollock, all that. Then why didn't you say something when you was in here? Why was you playing all innocent, baking cookies for Ego's army and shit, and you was talking shit on the real video? <laughs> Man, I told y'all, I hope y'all ready to go to war. I'm not with the dumb shit at all. Bodies will hit the floor. I take this shit serious. This is how you know I take it serious. Look what time it is for me, man. I told you I'm the gun. It's, it's going down, people. Just be ready for war. Um, it's it's on. Once again, it's on. I'm not playing. So we going. There will be some justice out this motherfucker. I promise you. So y'all can take that how y'all want. Whatever. Carla was all up in here, and now she's trying to talk crazy. Okay. If I ever see you in a hot seat, anybody can't get it. I'm the cam man. Cam man is back. I'm just saying, any of you stand up, be counted. Who? $5 AJ wins. I don't care. But see, people like you, you're you're a man fan. Cause I don't give a fuck if AJ wins or if he loses. I don't care if Wilder wins or loses. I just want to see it. I mean, it'd be cool to see an American since I'm American win. But it's not that serious. If AJ's the man to beat, he's the man to beat. People like you, oh, I'll give you $500 that AJ won. Who cares? Let's see it. We got to see it first. They got to they gotta both want it. And from what I've seen... From Joshua's side, they've been inconsistent. Man, go like that video that I did about it. Go just watch it. I present the facts for you. But th this, is, this is what boxing has become. You know what I mean? Where it's like, it don't even matter. It's like when Drake, when there's proof that he was ghostwriting, and because he's a he's a hot artist and has hit songs, people didn't really care. They're like, oh yeah, Quinn Miller and all that. I heard the reference track and I seen proof that he... But, but the fans are just like, oh, Drake, Drake shit slaps. You cloud chasing, you hating. You know what I'm saying? Even if they see proof, even if they see proof that he's not writing this shit, y'all, they got mad at Meek Mill for exposing it. Look, Damien Poole. Wow, this channel is so out to get Eddie Hearn and Joshua. Kind of sad. Once again, man, Eagles Army, stand the fuck up. Go peruse these comment sections and respond. Look, shout out to Checkmate Boxing, man. He responded to him. Y'all gotta, man, there's a real war going on in these comment sections. It says, please read my comment at the top. Nobody's out to get AJ or Hearn. See, look, Damian Poole. Wow, this channel is so out to get Hearn and Joshua kind of sad. But you notice a similarity. I, I, so let me get this straight so I get you guys there. Look. Ego, stop getting your bikini in a twist. If AJ wins, blah, blah, blah. So, once again, it's, it's my fault. I, I'm doing something wrong. So I could do an 11 minute video explaining, showing you guys the details, right? And you notice none of these dudes that are debating, they're not even countering. They're not saying like, oh, Eddie Hearn, actually he never said that, this was this. So again, y'all just stand up for what's real. Y'all know, y'all know who's winning this. Y'all know who won. 
I see them, they run. Period. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This channel so out to get AJ, Eddie Hearn. Okay, if that's how you feel, why? Why when I interviewed AJ and or when I interviewed Eddie Hearn in 2015, why wasn't I out to get him? You know what I'm saying? Like, they all full of shit. But again, notice all them comments that are disputing it. They're not saying nothing. They're not saying nothing to refute what's being said. Like, hey, I just went to Sky Sports and that's a Photoshop. You 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 fucking made that page up. You know what I'm saying? Because they know that's not true. Look. I sourced it. Look. So oh fucking ego's a lie. He that's a Photoshop, right? Click on it. Boom. It takes you right to it. This is not my pay. I don't own Sky Sports. Listen, I'm out. Boxing is fucking sickening right now. You know what I mean? We got some good stuff going, but this type of behavior, count me out of that. And I'm, I'm gonna keep riding, I'm gonna keep mashing, I'm gonna keep bringing up inconsistencies, I promise you. You know what I mean? I don't care who's mad or none of that. You know what I mean? Eagle Army, stand up. I'm out. The Vampire Stream. This is disgusting. Y'all gotta get right with this. You know what I mean? You can see a contradiction and still make like it's not you're not even proving me wrong you're not even proving me wrong you're just shut up you're so biased you're out to get you okay prove me wrong then i'm biased prove prove what i just said wrong <laughs> listen them walls are closing in on you rats all right gift gift torn tom you said stop the hate. I got I got time for one more hot seat. How oh, how am I hating? Gift Tom, let's go. Eagle Army, get ready. We we going to war. Gift Tom, you in the hot seat? Step up. You said stop the hate. What am I hating on? I got see. I was just about to get off. You made your bed, now lying in. What did I say? What was I hating on? <laughs> Notice that always month of Sunday we respond. Gift Tom. Waiting. This is waiting. Hey, somebody get him out. Somebody get him out of there. Boxing is disgusting right now with this type of fake shit in boxing. We got to restore the feeling because this is sad. And I'm out. The vampire stream.